Hello, Red Buddies. It's time to log in our tunes. After you watch this video, here's how you'll be able to log in a full group. We just click that one load all button and all six accounts will log in. Not bad, right? Now let me show you how it's done. First step is to right click the MQ2 icon in your taskbar, go up to profiles and create new. Now you'll need to fill out one of these forms for each character. The first field here says profile set. Um, this can be any word you want, but I recommend you make it the same for all six characters. This is how we organize our tunes. For example, here are all the sets I've made. I have a set named mains for my main accounts, guild accounts for my guildies, teleport accounts for travel. Uh, you get the idea. Login and password are for the EverQuest account in question. Server, this is important. It has to be the short name for your server. Here are the current short names for servers. For a full and up-to-date list, click the link to Red Guides in the description. Up next is character name, and that's, you know, the character you want to log in. Hotkey is optional, but I like to put one here, so I did Control Shift 1. And every time I press that three key combo, the window for Bruce will pop up to the front. EQ path is where you have EverQuest installed. Click browse to help you find it. And when you're done, click save. You'll need to do this for five more accounts and then you'll be ready to log in your full group. And after you finish all five, you are now ready to log in your characters. So click on the right click on the MQ2 icon, go to profiles, find your profile set and click load all. If you start seeing EverQuest accounts pop up, it means you did everything right. You did it. Hooray! While these load, let me give you a quick note on your EverQuest account passwords. Those are encrypted on your hard drive and they are tied to your PC. So if you try to move that file to a different PC, that it won't work and you cannot get the passwords. The only way to move them is to click export. All right, we got everybody online now. For window management, you may find it handy to cycle windows. To do so, right click your MQ2 icon, select INI file, and find in the screen cycle next window. And here it is right here. Yours will probably say equals zero. You can change that to any single or two key combo you wish separated by a plus sign. For example, mine here is set to control plus tilde. And the same thing for cycle previous window, it could be any single or double key combo. And there I have it just set to tilde. So after you restart MacroQuest 2 and next time you log on, you'll be able to cycle your windows. Pretty great. If you have any problems, let us know on Red Guides and we'll get you sorted. Up next, we're going to learn how to control all of your characters from one window. If you want to see all the tutorials in this series, there's a link to our most current playlist in the description.